Thank you, Madam Assistant Speaker. Um, the Utilities Legislation Amendment Bill 2017 makes changes to the Utilities Act and the Utilities Technical Regulation Act 2014. And these changes insert a general regulation making power into each act that will enable classes of services to be removed from the regulatory schemes if certain conditions are met. A second set of amendments provides for the first use of the exemption power in relation to the embedded electricity networks. This provides that certain types of utility services do not need to comply with the regulatory schemes and insert flexibility into determining the application of the regulatory framework. Embedded networks should deliver lower electricity prices and as such we will support, we'll be supporting this bill today. Currently, the regulatory schemes in both utility laws have a broad application. In most situations, a broad definition of utility services is appropriate. However, some new technologies or new, techno new utility services delivery models are falling into the broad definition. Small-scale in installations that shouldn't require this level of regulation are having licensing and operating certificate regimes imposed on them. This bill will allow for a class of utility services to be exempt from the application of each act, provided that safety preconditions are met. The bill excludes embedded networks from the regulatory schemes of the act. Embedded networks are an electricity distribution system which involves multiple customers who are aggregated together through a single connection point. This allows for customers to combine their electricity buying power to reduce their costs. Currently under the Act, this is considered to be a utility service and as such is heavily regulated. Considering there are only minor infrastructure differences, this isn't considered appropriate. Due to the small scale of embedded networks, they're appropriately regulated under the Electricity Safety Act without the need for additional regulation under the Utilities Act or the Utilities Technical Regulation Act. As such, the bill is intended to remove unnecessary regulation and given that it has the capacity and hopefully the actual, actually reducing of costs um, and to deliver a lower electricity prices for consumers, we're pleased to support this bill today. The question is that this bill be agreed to in principle. Minister Rattenbury in closing. Thank you.